<laughs> Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. A couple of days ago, my roommates and I and some of our friends were watching my old YouTube videos, which by the way, <laughs> are so much better than the YouTube videos I make now. Wait a minute, before we start, can we just appreciate this beautiful lighting right here? If y'all remember the tree, I bought this tree from Target that had built-in lights, like this little fun tree, right? Waffle chewed the wire of the tree, so I went and bought extra long fairy lights to wrap around, and here we are. It's really, I don't really... Why did I say that? Like how cute like the um, the light is, like because the sun is setting because it's four o'clock in November. Um, <laughs> Seasonal depression be like. Anyways, I don't know what was I say. My roommates and I, <laughs> my roommates and I, my roommates and I were watching some of my old videos and we came across one with the title It's like I was eating fast food while while reading fast food reviews. We clicked on it. They were gagging They were dying of laughter. They said Kaylee you have to do a second part Here we are We're doing a second part today's fast food of choice is Burger King. Wow. It's crazy how like in just one year fast food has changed so much. There's all these meat alternatives and all that stuff. We have, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have the impossible Whopper with us today, you guys. Oh, also we have, we have the mozzarella sticks because I was sitting there at the drive through window. I looked and I said, I want those. So here we are. The be whoa, why is this so tiny? Um. Oh, this is the Whopper Jr. Wait a minute. Oh my God, did they give me the wrong? <laughs> I'm so mad. They gave me the regular Whopper. I'm not even kidding, I could cry right now. You gotta go back. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. Listen, I know this is high maintenance of me, but I have to. I've been looking forward to this all fucking week. <laughs> Some time later, actually, a lot of time later, because I was stuck in that goddamn traffic. Oh my god, I wanted to fucking jump out of my goddamn skin. <sighs> Okay, I'm back. I got it. Yes, bitches. I ate all the fries on the way home because I was so hangry. But here we are. The Impossible Whopper. I was stuck in traffic, cried a little bit, listened to a little bit of NPR, and we're here now. Let's try these babies. Oh my god, they're so hard. They're so hard. <laughs> Pretty good. She comes with marinara sauce. For today's video, ooh, cold. Now we can officially get started. Today I'm going to be reading lovely and delightful fast food reviews whilst eating fast food. If you didn't see my video from over a year ago, I think, I'm gonna card it above so you can go check it out. It's actually so funny. Like I was watching it back and I was like, I'm funny as fuck. All right guys, look at that mother thick. Oh, love that. <laughs> We're gonna pretend I didn't see that. Let's get started. We're gonna be talking about McDonald's. Look at this, looks like a real ass burger. Mm-hmm. They hate to see it. They really do. I ordered two cheeseburgers with no onions. <laughs> Onion. Extra pickles. I received two cheeseburgers. <laughs> cheeseburgers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here we have some marinara sauce for our literally look at this like. It is so hard. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so shy. So Patricia gave this McDonald's three stars. Had to wait for them to make fresh coffee and no one offered me anything for my wait time. The cashier didn't greet us at all. Just said, what would you like to order? No smiling. Do these people not realize that like, you are not entitled to a they're just trying to do their jobs. They're just trying to get about their day. Stop expecting things from people. You see, once you lower your expectation, nothing can disappoint you. And that's just how I live my life. My order was missing a sandwich, and I tell the woman that took my order, 
that it's missing. And the first thing she says is, no, we put it in there. It was a special order and wasn't in the bag. She had the cook to remake it and he makes it a single when it was a double. So another remake. Damn. He made these people remake your sandwich twice. Like they definitely spit in it. Like so crazy how the segue into this was me getting my order wrong. Did I pitch a fit? Bruh. Biscuit was hard. McDonald's sucks. The variety sucks. Burger King is way better in the salads. Oh, uh, the eggs look like marshmallows. <laughs> Actually, marshmallows. How do eggs look like marshmallows? That don't make no sense. Oh my God. These hard ass mozzarella sticks really do be smanging. I do be f***ing with this marinara sauce. No. The BBQ sauce is so sweet. The ice cream machine doesn't work. <laughs> That is not new news. Ice cream machine broke. Everything machine broke. Get with it. Expect it. Let's try the marinara sauce with the fry. Gross. Okay, now we're gonna go to the cookout. Cookout is so good. I think it's, I'm not sure if they have cookout everywhere, but it's basically like you can get so much food for like so little money. Yo, I love when a DJ, because his picture is... Yep, that's a DJ. Alex R from Indianapolis, who is a DJ. Cookout is so good. Like, if this place gave me diabetes, I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> Wasn't even there five minutes before one of the 420 bums chilling in there came up and asked if I had money. Then proceeded to ask if I had a phone charger. Like, bro, I am at a cookout for a reason. I'm broke as fuck and there is no way in hell you're getting my phone charger. Whoever runs this place needs to kick the bums out so I can douse mayo all over my hot dog and peace. Oh my God, look at that. Look at this bite. Look at all that mayo and I love the mukbangers are like, oh my God, look at this. Look at this bite I'm about to take. So at this moment, exactly, I heard some family friends come in upstairs and my mom was home so I knew she would probably say that I was downstairs and they would probably want to go downstairs to say hi to me and I started to panic so I closed the blinds. Three fries, good. Cheeseburger missing, not on ticket. I also really like how <laughs> when people write reviews, they, <laughs> they use three worded sentences like went there, got order, left, had a fun, time, ate good, not good. So the machine, broken. Can't help the children. It's not that deep. And that's on pivot. My burger did even have, my burger did even have a bun. Fries were just, my burger did even have a bun. I can't read. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. All right. Oh. I just want you guys like really quick to look at this presentation I'm making for you guys. This is like such a mukbang-esque setup. Awesome milkshakes, hot dogs, and grilled chicken sandwiches. And then <laughs> she put this photo of, I think, the inside of a quesadilla, but holy shit, it is so gross. <laughs> Kathy, girl, you gross. The least appetizing thing I've ever seen. Cheapo, stomach sickly, serving diabetes, US gluttony in full swing not food. That was a haiku. That was poetry. I tried my hardest to find some Chick-fil-A reviews, but they're hard. They're hard to find. When you conduct any transaction, there should be a proper thank you goodbye or something. There was none of that. I sat for about a good minute or two after the attendant handed me my food in the drive-thru. I had to ask if that was it. She turned and said yes, then turned back. Okay, let's reenact this. I am the drive-thru lady, and I am also the drive-thru attendant. Introducing a skit by me. Here's your food. That's how I saw the interaction going. Just call me a playwright. We got motherfucking Long John Silver. It's the best place to get your damn shrimp, your damn, you got damn, damn, damn. As good as it can get. Real. Next is Shoney's. Shoney's is a place that my parents and I, my sister used to go to as a kid. The salad bar is good, that's all I got. I would have to agree with you on that sentiment because the salad bar was A1. I will never eat at a Shoney's again. It's been a long time since I have been to a Shoney's. It is not because of their food. It's because they did not pay the rent on our property they leased from us. Um, <laughs> Matthew says, found a cockroach in my eggs. I complained to them. <laughs> I complained. I complain. <laughs> I complain. I complained to the manager, and he told me, "Well, at least it's a cooked cockroach," and then walked away like nothing happened. That's cold. That's cold. Excellent customer service. <laughs> Slower than molasses. You'd save more time taking a Greyhound in Mexico. Well, 
Good thing I'm not doing that over some goddamn slow service. He do okay, boomer. Now let's read some Panda Express. If I could give this zero, I would. There was steel wool in my food. I ordered food for Uberists. The chips arrived cold. You mean the fries? What are you, what are you, bitch? The hot fudge sundae only came partially with ice cream and already I asked for it with extra fudge topping and nut. And how it looks in the photo practically did not put me, wait, what? <laughs> I asked for it with extra fudge topping and nut. And how it looks in the photo practically did not put me toppings much. Oh my God, this bitch is British. Okay, we got it, we got this dude. I ordered food. <laughs> I ordered food from Uber Eats. The chips arrived cold. The hot fudge sundae already came pra practically with ice cream and already I asked. I asked for it with extra fudge topping and nut. And how it looks in the photo practically did not put me toppings much less than nut. <laughs> Please hire one person that cares. Whopper, all I am saying. They're probably talking about the about the the, the impossible whopper. That shit is good. That shit is good. Just recently I visited my local Chick-fil-A. Very nice customer service, extremely passionate about the drastic change in sauce packaging. It was nice to see someone really caring for the aesthetic of the customer views, which is a very normal review. But the photo they attach is what got me. It's literally a photo of this boy, and where his lip is, it says Ethan Dolan. <laughs> So I don't know what's that about. I can feel the experience. Well, she got my order wrong. Gouda cheese wasn't melted. Just distasteful. Hello, my name is Terry and the waiters act like their death. Sometimes the bathrooms are disgusting. Put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry. All right, guys. Well, I think that's all the reviews I'm gonna be reading tonight. Thank you for watching. Leave this video a thumbs up and a comment and tell me your favorite fast food places on earth. It's getting really dark and I am done. Goodbye. Buy my merch!